Well, good morning, uh, Live Journal Mini Painter Forum. Um, just a little update, a little video update of the diorama, the quiet night out. Um, I've made some changes. I've made some changes to the colours, I've made some actual changes to the model, uh, and I'm going to share them with you. I, I like the comments I've got last time. Um, I've been trying to locate uh, dog miniatures, and uh, I've actually decided I'm going to put lots of animals on this because. Um, I think just having people standing around the street or fighting or whatever is a little unrealistic. This is going to be a living, breathing fantasy street. So there'll be chickens and pigs and, and the like just, you know, traipsing around all over the place. So I'll show you what I've done and how I've changed it. Uh, and obviously comments, you know, much appreciated. Uh, I'll show you some of the miniatures as well that are going to go on it. Um, there's a lot. There's more to come. Uh, there's more in the post. So. Um, Without further ado, here's the uh, here's the model. So here, the this sort of bar area here has been changed. Um, if you compare it with the old video, this post was actually further over, and this door was off centre, and it was doing my head in. I couldn't work out why the source lighting wasn't working, and it was because there was no straight linear line going through the model so I um, ripped it all apart which uh, happens a lot when I make models I, I get frustrated and take it apart and start again I don't think you should ever be afraid of stripping things back to bare metal and uh, repainting them if you don't like it after all they're not cheap so um, I moved this, this pillar over here I centralized the door I filled in the gaps and that sorted out everything as far as I can see there are some ivy leaves going up the side here um, which I bought online. I'll post a link for that because uh, it's a very good, very good online shop. It sells lots of little knickknacks for dioramas. The source lighting's coming on now. I've pretty much put a uniform glow uh, next to the houses, um, which probably isn't very realistic, but um, it certainly looks nice. I think. Moving over to the whole house, as you can see, if you look back at the old video and the old pictures the windows have changed these are from freebooter miniatures uh, as German guy Werner Klock he sculpts for Reaper uh, he used to sculpt for Games Workshop uh, he's brilliant actually um, these are just like little slatted leaded windows um, I put some windows on the bottom here as well because I wanted some light sourcing happening down here and just with the door there really wasn't much going on so I feel that that's, um, that's helped that part of the, of the model Nothing's really changed here. I've put in the door. Um, I've painted all the sort of metal work on the door. I've put some glow in the windows. And again, nothing's really changed much here. I have some shop signs that I bought from Rackham, which will be going on. Um, the only other thing I've done is I've changed the colour of the roof. You can see there, it's kind of red. Um, it's reverse, reverse highlighting basically. Uh, it's a very dark red for the tiles. There's been um, dry brush over the top with um, a black blue, a blue black colour and then highlighted with a very very sort of dark midnight blue and a spot of white just to sort of like give it a nighttime glow obviously moonlight is slightly different to sunlight so there you go, that's that's how the model's coming on um, there's a few more scenery things to do um, I might put some more gravel and dirt on the road here just for size comparison, here's a chicken there's ten of those to go on. They're cute. Got no faces though, I'm gonna have to sculpt faces on them. And here's a bunch of all the other miniatures that are just lining up ready to go on. As you can see there's a lot. There's a real mix. You've got heresy stuff, very, very old games workshop miniatures. This is a little guard guy. Some rack ham stuff. I use some of the rack ham barrels. There's also lots of piles of rats as well. You can't really see very well, but there's a rat. And the rats are all going to be going under the boardwalk and a couple of metal boats fishermen's boats are going to be when I'm finished so I'll obviously take some pictures when I get my camera back um, for the time being enjoy and uh, I'll see you next time, bye